Listen to me. No more leeches. It's time to dine and drink the wine that the Lord has set before you, okay? No more leeches. It's time that you break out of this cycle of serving your enemies. Your cup is empty and you're filling up their cup so that they are content, so that they are full. But, you know, you're struggling and you still have this urge to help. You still have this urge to give. But you need to understand that you're not being led by the Holy Spirit to serve these people that keep calling your phone, that keep, you know, asking you to take on their burden. You know, this is the enemy trying to place a yoke upon you, okay? He wants you stuck in a cycle where you have just enough to survive, but, you know, you're not receiving increase, you're not being promoted. And, you know, even the people that the enemy is, you know, using to, you know, keep you bound, right? Even those people, they're not even able to receive what you have. They're not positioned to receive increase. They're not positioned to receive, you know, a wealth transfer or to receive promotion because they, they haven't taken on the Lord's yoke, okay? And you are unequally yoked with them. And they have come into covenant with the enemy. And when I say this, hear me and hear me by the spirit of the living God, because these people are not aware that they have came into covenant with the enemy, but they don't have faith. They don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in what the Lord can do for them and what the Lord wants to do for them. And because of that, they have given their enemy legal rights to keep them bound and to keep them stuck. However, you know what the Lord can do for you. You know what the Lord wants to do for you. And you know what the Lord is already doing for you and what he has done for you. And, you know, somebody is calling your phone as I release this word. Somebody is about to contact you and, you know, offer something to you or ask you for help. And the Lord is saying you must say no. Do not take on this burden. This is the enemy trying to keep you bound. This is the enemy trying to place a yoke upon your head. Now, listen to me and hear me and hear me very carefully because the Lord wants to increase you. He wants to promote you in this season. A wealth transfer is at hand, okay? And because you have allowed these leeches to feed off of you and feed off everything that, you know, the Lord has done for you up until now. And, you know, the Lord knows your heart. He knows your mind. He knows that you are not doing this, you know, intentionally. He knows that you have, you know, a desire to help people and to love people and to serve people right and to do the right thing and to give back but you need to understand that you know as much as you allow you know as long as you allow the the enemy to feed off you know the kingdom of god right which he has no access to the kingdom of god he's been casted out of the heavens right and he shouldn't be able to you know feed off the goodness of god or the glory of god he shouldn't be able to feed off the riches of God. And this is a spiritual thing, but it manifests physically. And the Lord is saying, you know, the enemy has no seat at my table and you cannot allow these leeches to feed off of you. You cannot take on their burden because I cannot increase you like that. You see, some of you are waiting on the Lord to promote you, to lift you up, to, you know, give you some money, to bless you financially, to bless you with, you know, a certain opportunity, certain opportunity. But you are holding on to specific people that are, you know, they're unequally yoked with you. OK, and, you know, they haven't come into covenant with the Lord and the Lord is saying you must cut ties with these people. You must not accept these offers. You must not come into partnership with these people because these people are, you know, feeding off of you and benefiting from you. But what are they doing for you in return? You must understand that contracts are necessary. Don't just accept something and, you know, expect people to come through for you because not everybody has a heart like you. A lot of people in this world are very selfish and a lot of people, they only look out for themselves, especially when they are struggling. They need help. And that's fine. And you can pray for these people. But, you know, the Lord is saying very specifically to you. And this is not a coincidence if you are receiving this word. He is saying, do not take on this burden. You know, he wants you to, you know, 
He wants you to carry out your assignment. He wants you to carry out what he has set before you. And a lot of the time, you know, as, you know, humans, right, as people, you know, it's comfortable for us to have somebody that we are in partnership with. It's comfortable for us to live with somebody. It's comfortable for us to work with somebody. It's comfortable for us to partner up with somebody because, you know, we, we desire that fellowship. We desire that that um, that security from another person, but you must understand that the, the Lord is with you. You know, He has His hand over you. He has given you and poured out His Spirit unto you. And you know, the Lord is saying, "I am all you need in this season." He wants you, and He is allowing you to be alone because you are going to glorify Him. And you know, the people that you know. The people that are, you know, trying to benefit from you and trying to partner up with you and trying to, you know, place this burden upon you or hand it over to you, you know, they're not going to be able to glorify him with this specific, you know, thing that they are offering you or trying to, you know, give hand over to you because the enemy is using them and, you know, they've come into covenant with the enemy. So the Lord isn't able to increase them with your help it's going to be a repetitive cycle and many of you you've experienced this for years it's a cycle of you going to help this person trying to help this person trying to help that person and why are they in the same place why is there no increase not just with you but with them it's because they are under the wrong yoke okay they have taken on you know the enemy's yoke the enemy has placed a yoke upon them and the Lord is saying, you know, you must take on my yoke, stop coming into covenant with these people and agreeing to these things and, you know, coming into partnership with them. Because the Bible says, you know, in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians verse, um, chapter 6, verse 14, it says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? right and listen to me what communion have light with darkness listen to me guys for real you know of course you want to bless people you want to help people but unless they are positioned to receive it okay they're not going to receive it it's going to go straight through the roof you know, the enemy is swallowing your seeds and he is drinking your water. You must be led by the Holy Spirit. And in this season of your life, the Lord is saying, I am sending you divine helpers. I'm sending you divine connections. I'm sending you people that you can partner with and collaborate with. But right now, I want you to do it alone with me because you are going to glorify Jesus. You are going to glorify your father in heaven. OK, and, you know, you need to understand that. You are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill, it cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but they put it on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So let your light so shine before men so that they can see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. In this season, the Lord wants you to focus on your assignment. Stop trying to, you know, be beneath somebody and be a helper and be, you know, listen to me and be somebody who is, you know, feeding into somebody else's business, feeding into somebody else's job or career, because there is a reason, whoever this word is, this word is for, there is a reason why you applied for all of those jobs, but you didn't get accepted, you didn't get any calls back at all, and then, you know, the Lord has provided for you, and you're, 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 whoever this word is for, you know, you're, you're, you're okay right now, you know, the Lord is providing for you, but you know that this is nowhere and nothing compared to what the Lord has promised you. And the Lord is saying that you must cut these people out. You must break these partnerships. You must, you know, deny access to my table because you can't try to serve. You can't try to serve the kingdom of God, okay? And you can't try to eat with these people that have not taken on, you know, the Lord's yoke, okay? You see, you must understand that faith, okay, faith is very, very important, okay? Faith is very, very important. You know, you believe in God, right? And a lot of people believe in Jesus Christ, right? But they don't actually believe in the word of God. And that's why, you know, there's many Christians that are stuck 
and they're, they're, they're on the yokes, they're, they're, they're in repetitive cycles and, you know, they're serving the world and the enemy instead of the body of Christ. They're not receiving increase, they're not receiving promotion. And the Lord doesn't want you in that situation. He wants to increase you forever. He wants you to exalt you forever. He wants to lift you up forever from the spirit to the soul to the flesh. In this physical world, it will manifest. It will come to pass, okay? It will come to pass. But the Lord is saying very specifically to you, you know, do not take on their burden. Now, I declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ that whoever is watching this video, whoever has been in this repetitive cycle of, you know, serving these people without receiving increase, you know, serving, you know, these these people and you know trying to help them without receiving increase without actually blessing them without actually seeing you know promotion and seeing you know seeing that those those things that the lord has promised you come to pass whoever this word is for i declare and i decree right now in the name of jesus that any yoke that has been placed upon your neck is broken now by the authority and the blood of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are free because the Lord has set you free. And please comment down below. I am free. The Lord has set me free. I am free indeed. I am free from every yoke. I am free from every burden. Thank you, Jesus, from lifting this burden, you know, off of my shoulders. Thank you, Jesus, from releasing me from this yoke. I will receive the wealth that you have for me. I will receive the things that you have promised me in this season. Now, I love you guys so much. I do. Okay, please connect with this word and comment down below if you guys are led to sow into my ministry sow into this ministry okay this is a ministry of the lord jesus christ you guys can sow down below by the links in my bio but just understand that every action that you take is a seed being planted and by you commenting engaging liking subscribe and turning on your post notifications you are allowing this word to be pushed out for somebody else another child of god to be blessed okay so please feed into this as much as you can because you will reap the harvest now i love you guys so much peace love and blessing and shalom.